Draw some blocks for us today. That's a great idea. Let's go to Bordy the Board. To the board. To, to the, the board. board. To the magical Bordy. One, two, three, four, five. Imagination comes alive. Hello, Fred and Fiona. What would you like me to draw today? I have an idea. Bordy, can you draw some blocks? It's a tree, not a block. Blocks are toys. Well, that's not a block either. That's a doll. How do you know? Because blocks are hard and square shaped, not soft and cuddly. Hmm, square shaped, huh? I think we can get blocks. Are you ready, Fred? I'm ready. One, two, three, go! Blocks! Oh, oh what joy! Oh, what a sight! We were together and got it right! Woo! <laughs> hmm. Hey, Fiona, what's wrong? You look sad. These are nice blocks, but what do we do with them? Wait, I know. <laughs> sit on blocks? We don't sit on blocks. They're too small. Blocks on a plate? That's not right. We don't eat blocks. I think we can get it right this time. Are you ready? I'm ready. One, two, three, go! Oh, what joy! Oh, what a sight! We were together and got it right! Oh, no! The blocks are all gone! That's okay. Bordy can help us find the blocks again. First, we saw someone sitting on the blocks. But that's not right. We don't sit on blocks. We sit on chairs. Then we saw blocks on a plate. But that's not right either. We don't eat blocks. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's funny. funny. <laughs> but we finally got it right. Blocks are toys. We build things with them. Very good, Fiona. Thank you, Fred. Not too bad yourself. Goodbye, Fred and Fiona. See you next time.
I-N-G-O and bingo was his name-o. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name-o. N-G-O, N-G-O, N-G-O and bingo was his name-o. A beautiful nest for my babies. Hello. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my eggs. You're sitting on your eggs? Why are you doing that? To keep them warm. Soon the eggs will hatch and my babies will be born. Can I see? You can look, but don't touch. Oh, they're beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I want to lay eggs, too. Oh, you can't lay eggs. You're a boy. And boys can't lay eggs. They can't? We'll see about that. Back up a little, Stumpy Chunk. Oh, careful, don't let the berries fall. Like this? Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. Stop. Perfect. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Now, let's eat. Oh, look behind you, Stumpy Chunk. Whoa, I laid an egg. I laid an egg. No, silly. Oh. Elephants don't lay eggs. Well, where did this egg come from, Pexy? I don't know. Maybe the ostrich lost her egg. Well, if she did, then she must be looking for it. Let's go ask her. You take this leaf and put it on your back. Now, I'll go get a creeper. Okay, Stumpy Trunk, roll the egg carefully over your head. I'll hold it still. That's it. Careful. Good job, Stumpy Trunk. Now let's go find the ostrich. We made it. Hello, Mrs. Ostrich. We found this egg in the forest. Is it yours? No, uh, no, it's not my egg. My eggs are white and much smaller than that egg. I wonder who the egg belongs to. Maybe it's Mrs. Crocodile's egg. Crocodiles lay eggs too? Hmm, I guess so. Thank you, Mrs. Ostrich. Come on, Stumpy Trunk, let's go. Yoo-hoo, oh, Mrs. Mrs. Crocodile. Crocodile! Who's there? Oh. Oh, hello, little bird. You look good enough to eat for breakfast. Yummy, yummy. Huh? No, no, no. I'm not your breakfast. Listen, we found this egg. Is it yours? No, my eggs don't look like that. Mine are white and soft. Oh, well. Thanks, anyway. Maybe the egg belongs to the turtle. What? Who's there? I can't see you. It's us. us. Ah, Pexied and Stumpy Trunk. What are you two doing here? We found an egg in the forest. Is it one of yours? 
No, I bury my eggs in the sand, so I never lose any of them. Oh, okay, thank you. This egg is a mystery. Let's keep looking, Stumpy Trunk. I'm tired of looking for the owner of this egg. I'm hungry. Oh, what yummy looking berries. <gasps> Careful, careful! Watch out, Stumpy Trunk! The egg! Watch the egg, Stumpy Trunk! Oh! Oh, hurry! Oh! Uh-oh. You caught it! Good job! Great dive! That was amazing! Yes! Well done! Well done! The scorpion. Scorpion, what are you doing inside this egg? I wanted to use my magic to lay an egg, but when I said the magic words, um, well, you'll see. Abracadabra, 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 chew! I was put inside the egg. I'm sorry your trick didn't work. Well, I'll try again. Abracadabra, tissue, bichu, chinkala! <laughs> oh, I better try and fix that. <laughs> Play dates. I love playing games with my friends. Sometimes I even play jokes on them. What's that? It's not coming from in there. Hmm. <laughs> the knocking isn't coming from here either. I wonder what that knocking could be. Aha! I know! It's a visitor knocking at the door! Oh me, oh my! I wonder who's come by! Who goes there? Whoa! That's one big sound! Somebody's come over for a play date! But I can't tell who it is. Can you help me figure it out? <laughs> who is it? Let's listen. <laughs> hmm. What animal sounds like that? <laughs> ah! It sounds like barking. <laughs> <laughs> I know what animals bark. Dogs! Dogs love to bark. It must be my friend Donnelly the dog at the door. Have you come to visit the one and only Tilly? <laughs> That's me. Why, yes, Tilly. I've come over to play. Can I come in? That bark is definitely a dog. Woof, woof. 
Hi, Tilly. It's nice to see you. I knew that had to be you, Dumbly. A big bark from a big dog. We dogs love to bark. <laughs> <laughs> we figured it out! A big bark from a big dog! I'm glad you came over to play with me! Come by again! You never know who will visit next time! Bye-bye! <laughs> from Mr. Buka. Yay! Let's visit our friend Mr. Buka.
see Miss Darbuka. Mr. Buka, listen to our loud music. That's loud music. Now let's play our music softly. It was spring at the family farm, and the big blue tractor and plow were out working already, first thing in the morning. Tech hadn't woken up completely yet. Hack! Hack! called someone, and the little tractor looked around sleepily. Yes, murmured Tech. Here! shouted the voice. Sam, is that you? asked Tech. Yes, and I'm tired of waiting. I want to go to the field to scare crows, he said in an irritated voice. But the big blue tractor has to finish working in the field first, said Tech. I know, but maybe he's finished already. He's been out there since early this morning, said Sam the Scarecrow. I'll check for you, said Tech, and off he went to the field. Good morning, Tech said the hens. Good morning, hens. Beep, beep, Tech sounded his horn. By the time he got to the field, Tech was out of breath. He decided to take a break and watch the big blue tractor and the plow working. It's too bad I'm not a big, strong tractor like the big blue tractor. Then I would be able to work the field, thought Tech. But even the big blue tractor looked small in the big field. And to Tech's surprise, in all this time, he had only been able to work a small piece of field.
My goodness me. Sam the Scarecrow will be very disappointed, Tech said to himself. Tech was on his way back to the shed when the ghouls looking for breakfast worm caught his attention. I'm lucky I'm a tractor and not a ghoul. I would never be able to eat worms. Yuck, thought Tech. While Tech looked up at the goals, he wasn't paying any attention to where he was going, and suddenly he tripped and turned over onto his side. Baked potatoes! What's happened? squeaked Tech. And though he tried to go forward and backward, he couldn't because his two wheels were in the air. Uh, uh, uh. The big blue tractor came closer. Then Roy jumped out of the cab and walked over to Tech. What are you doing here, Tech? But before he had a chance to answer, Roy lifted him out. You look frightened, Tech. Are you okay? asked Roy. I'm okay, said Tech. You know, Roy, I would love to work on the field and plant seeds, said Tech. Well, maybe you can help Molly do that stuff in the garden, said Roy. That's a good idea, said Tech, and off he went. Before heading to the garden, Tech popped into the machine shed to tell Sam the Scarecrow that the big blue tractor had not finished working the field. Goodness gracious! That means I'll be in this shed for days, said Sam in a disappointed voice. No, of course you won't, said Tech. He will finish by tonight, you'll see. I'll go back to the field before lunch to see how he's coming along, okay? But I have to go now. I'm on my way to the garden to help Molly. Bye-bye, said Tech, tooting his horn. Toot-toot! He's a lucky tractor, said Sam the Scarecrow, sadly. But that was that. There was nothing for Sam to do but wait and dream that his feet were in the mud, and he was doing his job of scaring the crows far, far away. In the garden, Tech and Molly were busy gardening. It was Tech's job to carry the plants, and Molly's job to plant them. I'm going to plant some potatoes first, Molly said. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four potatoes. And by the time she had reached the end of the row, there were no potatoes left in the box. Now then, what about the lettuce? said Molly. At that, Molly started to plant lettuce plants. One lettuce. Two lettuces. Three lettuces four, and by the end of the row, all the lettuce plants were planted and the box was empty. Toot toot! Well done! tooted Tech happily. My word, look at the time, Tech. I'd better go and prepare lunch, said Molly, pulling off her gardening gloves. Goodness gracious, said Tech. I promised Sam that I would go back to the field to see how the big tractor was coming along. With that, he raced out of the garden. Molly gathered the equipment and off she went into the house. Tech drove past the shed and up the road and through the gate to the field where the big blue tractor was still working. Thank <laughs> you.
As Molly prepared lunch, she noticed a funny sound coming from outside. She looked in the garden, but there was nothing there making noise, just clean clothes drying in the sun. She looked across the farmyard. Nothing there either. But as she turned to return to the house, she heard some clucking coming from the garden. She went back to the garden to see what was going on. What a shock. Someone was in the garden this time. She saw a pair of horns and some feathery tails. Gertie the goat and the hens. They were all pecking and scratching and stomping in the garden. Shoo, shoo, out you go, you naughty things, she shouted at them. Tech was driving across the farmyard when he heard all the shouting from the garden. Oh my goodness, he squeaked. He drove as fast as his wheels could take him to the garden. Out you go, toot, shouted Tech, tooting his horn angrily. Out you go, shoo! And at last, Tech and Molly got all the animals to finally leave the garden. What a mess the animals had made. While the big blue tractor was working in the field, Tech and Molly tried to straighten up the garden. We've finished at last, said Molly. Thanks for your help, Tech. You're welcome, Molly. And Tech drove out of the garden. Molly made sure that she closed the gate this time. After all this excitement, Tech headed back to the field to watch the big blue tractor work some more. By the time he arrived, the big blue tractor had finished over half of the field. Great! Sam will be delighted, said Tech happily. But then, all at once, the big blue tractor stopped. He didn't move another inch. Tech went closer to see what was wrong. Oh, I don't feel well. I've got a tummy ache moaned the big blue tractor. And indeed, he did look sick, and there was a very strange noise coming from his tummy. After putting his head under the hood, Roy said, I know what's wrong with him. And he asked Tech to go to the tool shed to get a new fuel filter for the big blue tractor. Of course I'll go, said Tech, before tooting his horn and heading out. The big blue tractor must have a terrible tummy ache, said Tech. Once Tech reached the farmyard, it didn't take long to find the fuel filter and bring it back to the field. Roy quickly let the air out of the big blue tractor's tummy and put the new fuel filter in to replace the old one. Oh, that's better, said the big blue tractor as Roy climbed into the cab and started the engine. The tractor felt a lot better, although he still looked a bit tired.
plowing the field must be very hard work, even for a big tractor, thought Tech. But how on earth was he going to tell Sam that the big tractor still hadn't finished work? Toot toot! Sam! Tech sounded his horn as they got into the shed. But what a shock! Sam the Scarecrow wasn't there. Where had he gone? Tech was tired after going back and forth between the shed and the field all day. And he didn't feel like going to look for Sam the Scarecrow. But he decided that he should at least check to make sure that Gertie and the hens hadn't crept back in the garden again. As he headed towards the garden, Tech heard something. Hey, Tech! Look at me! Tech! Tech! Peck followed the voice into the garden. And who do you think was standing in the middle of the potato patch? That's right! It was Sam the Scarecrow. What are you doing here, Sam the Scarecrow? shouted Tech. No, I'm Sam the Scare Hens now, <laughs> laughed Sam. Oh, well that's good. By the way, the big blue tractor hasn't finished working yet, said Tech. Oh, I don't care about the field now. I'm enjoying myself here in the garden, said Sam the Scare Hens. sleep in this bed. 
I'm big enough now for a bed of my own. But this bed is enormous. I feel all alone. I search for my friends in the yellow toy box. Oh look, here's my rabbit, my skunk, and my fox. I stand on my tiptoes and reach for my dogs. And down come my turtles, my fish, and my frogs. I peek in my closet. Is anyone there? Oh, good. I see two kangaroos and a bear. I tuck in my tiger. I cover my sheep. I tell all my animals, now go to sleep. A hug for my hippo. A kiss for my cow. I guess I can try to squeeze in here somehow. With frogs at my feet and a horse on my head, oh, how will I ever sleep in this bed? Move over, monkey. Fly away, bee. I love all of you, but I need room for me. So please, Mr. Moose and Blue Dinosaur, you guys are so big. Can you sleep on the floor? I pull up my blanket and wiggle in tight. Now I feel warm and snuggly and sleepy. Good night. Silence. It's a nice thing at 2 in the morning. Welcome to night programming from Baby First TV. Soothing and relaxing programs that can help put your little angel to sleep. Developed by educational experts, shows like Night Night Lullaby create a tranquil environment by using famous lullabies coupled with real children's drawings. Our night programs offer you that gratifying parent-child experience known as sleep. <laughs> night programming, every night, only on Baby First TV. Puzzle 
showtime. Puzzles. Hi, I'm the Puzzle Kid, and I love puzzles. Want to do one with me? Yeah! Great! Look, it's a cloud. Cloud! Ready? Let's put it together.
and Peanut Game. <laughs> Hello, I'm Yo-Yo, and he's Peanut. We're best friends, and this is our game. When I go up, I go down. And when I wear a smile, I wear a frown. You see, we can be friends, though we're never, never the, the same. same. Thanks, to our Thanks to our opposite game. Thanks to our opposite game. Play ball. Me too. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Up, the ball is up in the air. Up. Now the ball is down on the ground. Down. Down! Again! <laughs> up! The ball is up in the air. Up! <laughs> <laughs> Down. Now the ball is down on the ground. Down. down. One more time. Come on, Yo-Yo, let's play. Okay, one more time. Up, the ball is up in the air. Up. up. Down. Now the ball is down on the ground. Down! We may never be the same. But we love the opposite game. Ha <laughs> 
gift a parent can give their child. A head start. And Baby First TV makes it easy to do. Job, buddy. With thousands of episodes of original programming, our shows cover every stage of a child's development. The color-coded flower in the corner of the screen lets parents choose from a rainbow of education and shows which skills are being highlighted. Thinking Journey is yellow. Language Playground is red. I'm going to tell you a story about me. Imagination Lane is pink. Feelings Garden is orange. Okie dokie. Numbers Parade is blue. Sensory Wonderland is green. So tune in to Baby First TV. It's the perfect tool to inspire young minds to grow and learn more about the world than they ever knew before. Baby First TV, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. motion.
may seem a perfect match But look a little closer, you'll find that there's a catch When one thing just stands out, and three things look the same We have to point it out, and call it by its name What's different? What's different? I found it! What's different? We're going to look at four pictures. Three will be the same, but one will be different. Let's look. It's a green square. A green square. What's next? Another green square. That's a green square, too. One more. Let's see it. That's a square, too. Is it green? We have four squares, but they are not all the same. Can you spot what's different? Is this square different? No. This one's green, like most of the others. How about this one? This one is green, too. This one matches the other green squares. So what's different? This one is different. This one is purple. These are green squares. The purple square is different. Good eye. You can spot what's different. Bye-bye. Pixies. A kangaroo! Wow! What do kangaroos do, Tog? They jump, Toot! They jump! Jump, jump, jump! Okay? Yeah! Yeah! Jump, jump, 
jump, jump, move like a kangaroo. Put your feet together and just do what kangaroos do. Jump, 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 move like a kangaroo. Put your feet together and just do what kangaroos do. Move like the animals, move like the animals, move like the animals do. Move like the animals, move like the animals, the animals in the zoo. Clump like an elephant clumps. Put your hand right out in front, just like an elephant's trunk. Clump, 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 clump like an elephant clumps. Put your hand out right in front, just like an elephant's trunk. Move like the animals, move like the animals, move like the animals do. Move like the animals, move like the animals, like the animals in the zoo. Waddle, 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 waddle with your arms down by your side. Waddle to the water's edge, then slide, slide, slide. Waddle, 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 waddle with your arms down by your side. Waddle to the water's edge, and slide, slide, slide. Move like the animals, move like the animals, move like the animals do. Move like the animals, move like the animals, the animals in the zoo. Banana. En un árbol de bananas crecieron dos bananas. Banana. La hora de contar. Contemos casas. Una casa. Dos casas. Contemos otra vez. Uno. Dos. Dos casas. Contemos árboles. Un árbol. Dos árboles. Contemos otra vez. Uno, dos. Dos árboles. Eso es, contaron muy bien. Nos vemos pronto en La Hora de Contar. La palabra del día. Word of the day. Balón. Balón. Ball. Balón. Ball. Balón. Ball. Balón. Ball. Balón.
blanco.
Palabritas. Es un racimo de uvas. Una parra. Beber jugo de uva es muy sabroso. Comer uvas es delicioso. Ya conocíamos a las uvas, pero ahora las conocemos mejor. La palabra del día. Word of the day. Cebras. 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 
cebras. Cebras. Cebras. Cebras. Cebras. El aeroplano. La hora de contar. Contemos cubetas. Una cubeta, dos cubetas. Contemos otra vez. Uno, dos. Dos cubetas. Contemos cometas. Una cometa, dos cometas. Contemos otra vez. Uno, dos. Dos cometas. Eso es, contaron muy bien. Nos vemos pronto en La Hora de Contar.
Libro. Mi libro favorito tiene muchos dibujos bonitos. Lo leo en el desayuno. Es mi libro. La palabra del día. Word of the day. Balón. 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 Formas y tamaños. Hola Sol. Hola Luna. Hola a todos. Mira, todas las piezas abandonaron el tablero. Vamos a ver si puedes colocarlas en la posición correcta. ¿Puedes colocar la flauta en su lugar? No, no. Prueba otra vez. Lo harás mejor. ¡Perfecto! Es el lugar correcto. Ahora vamos a ver si puedes colocar la trompeta. ¡Lo lograste otra vez! Colocaste la trompeta en el tablero. Pero, ¿podrás regresar el clarinete? No, no. Inténtalo otra vez. Tú puedes. ¡Lo lograste! Colocaste el clarinete. Ahora, solo queda una forma. ¿Te animas a colocar el silbato? Así se hace. Mira el tablero. Lograste poner las diferentes formas en su lugar correcto. ¡Felicitaciones! La flauta, la trompeta, el clarinete y el silbato. Todas las formas regresaron a su posición correcta en el tablero. Adiós, Sol. Adiós, Luna. Adiós a todos. Hasta la próxima. La palabra del día. Word of the day. Manzana. Sana.
晚餐呢、啊。Toys with you. 